Hi everybody, I am Jimmy. Welcome to my channel. Your fingernails do much more than protect the tips of your fingers. They can actually offer clues about your overall well-being. In traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM for short, the body is seen as a reflection of balance. While nails might seem minor, paying attention to little details can help you spot changes to your health early. But fingernail myths are everywhere. Maybe you've heard, the more half moons you have, the healthier you are, or if you have ridges, you must be low on calcium. Let's set the record straight and explore the real story. No fortune telling, just practical science-based guidance. Let's start with the half moon. That subtle white curve at the base of your nail is called the lunula, which means little moon. In simple terms, it's a patch of new nail cells made in a region called the matrix, the nail's growth center. As fresh cells build up and push forward, they gradually harden and become your actual nail. So, why can some people see big bright lunulas and others see almost none? It usually comes down to three things. One, some people naturally have a nail matrix set deeper under the skin, so their half moons don't show much. Second, nails on fingers you use less, like your pinkies, tend to grow slower, so lunulas are harder to spot. Thumbs, which work harder, often have larger lunulas. Third, age, nutrition and genetics all play a role. So it's normal for lunulas to look different from person to person. Here's the key point. The number and size of your lunulas don't directly tell you if you're healthy or not. But if your half moons suddenly vanish, grow much larger, or turn an unusual color like red, this could signal something important, like changes in your thyroid, extreme tiredness, or nutrition problems. In those cases, it's smart to check with a doctor. Now let's talk about those mysterious vertical ridges. Many people worry about lines that run from the base to the tip of the nail. But actually, these tiny grooves are just a normal sign of aging. Nails, like skin, get their own types of wrinkles as cell turnover slows down with age. If the ridges are smooth, colorless, and even there's no need to worry. However, some changes matter. If you notice a dark stripe getting bigger or darker, especially a black ridge, definitely see a dermatologist. This could be a sign of a serious condition that needs attention. Bright red lines might mean fragile blood vessels, or in rare cases, something happening with your heart. If your ridges are bumpy, the nails break easily, or look misshapen, it's worth checking for skin or nutrition conditions. Now, what about those little white dots? Many people say, ah, this means I'm low on calcium ridge, but that's just a myth. These spots called leukonychia usually come from a tiny bump or minor nail injury, maybe from a manicure or knocking your finger. They'll slowly grow out as your nail grows. No special treatment needed. And those painful little hangnails, they're not about missing vitamins, but a sign your fingertips are dry or getting rubbed against things. The best fix, trim them carefully and use a good hand cream. You might also see nails turn yellow, cloudy, or even spoon-shaped. Discoloration like this might come from fungal infections, iron deficiency, or issues with circulation. If you see sudden or drastic changes, don't wait. See a healthcare professional. Want healthy nails? Here are four simple habits. One, be gentle when washing hands and wear gloves if you handle chemicals. Two, trim nails regularly, leaving a little edge and gently file down rough spots to prevent splitting. Third, eat a balanced diet, focus on protein, like eggs and beans, vitamin A, think carrots, zinc, nuts, and iron, red meat or beans. Fourth, and if your nails suddenly become painful, change color, or look really unusual, check with a dermatologist for peace of mind. Your fingernails may be small, but they hold important clues. Don't stress over half moons or harmless ridges, but do pay attention if something big changes. Remember, wisdom stops rumors, and true wellness comes from real knowledge. Next time you hear someone making wild claims about nails, share what you've learned. We often say, no one knows your body better than you do. Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy. Today I want to share five simple self-checks you can do at home to get a basic sense of your overall wellness inspired by traditional Chinese medicine or TCM. Let's dive in. First, let's check the health of your blood vessels. 
Here's an easy test. Make a tight fist with one hand and hold it for 30 seconds. After that, open your hand and watch how quickly the color returns to your palm. If your skin returns to its original color quickly, that suggests your blood vessels are flexible and blood flow is good. But if it takes more than 20 seconds, your blood vessels may have less flexibility and blood isn't moving as smoothly. In TCM, foods like hawthorn berries, oats, black fungus, kumquats, eggplants, sweet potatoes, garlic and onions are considered sweepers for the vessels. They may support better circulation. Remember to drink a glass of warm water in the morning. It can help keep your blood flowing easily and try to get at least half an hour of movement daily. Walking, practicing Tai Chi or traditional Qigong exercises like Ba Duan Jin are all great ways to promote healthy blood flow. Next up, how about your lungs? Take a deep breath in, then hold it comfortably, don't push yourself and see how long you can hold that breath. If you're under 60, and can't hold your breath for about 50 to 60 seconds or over 60 and find it hard to last 45 seconds, your lung capacity might be lower than average. This test simply shows how your body handles a little less oxygen. Want to support your lungs? In TCM, we value gentle breathing exercises and simple movements like tapping the inside of your elbows. Believe it or not, there's a point here called Shize or LU5 that TCM believes can help with throat and breathing comfort when gently tapped a hundred times, two to three times a day. What about your heart? Try climbing three to five flights of stairs at a normal pace. If you find your heart racing, but feel back to normal within 10 minutes, that's generally a good sign. But if it takes longer, 20 to 30 minutes, or you still feel short of breath, your heart could be under some strain. In TCM, massaging the Malgongo point, found in the center of your palm, where your middle finger touches when you make a fist, is thought to ease mild chest discomfort. If you know how, you can also gently press the Neguan point, which is on your inner forearm. These may help you feel calmer and more comfortable, especially during stressful moments. Many in TCM believe regular palm massage can also support restful sleep and improve hand sweat. Let's move on to your thyroid. Have you ever noticed a lump at the front of your neck? Over 95% of people with thyroid issues may develop a painless swelling here. Gently feel the front of your neck. If you find a lump larger than 2 cm, or if one grows quickly or feels uneven, please see a doctor promptly. It's important to get checked. TCM also offers everyday wellness tips for this area, such as moxibustion, a traditional warming technique on the Tianchuk point at the base of your throat. This spot is at the midline, above the sternum. If you try moxibustion at home, make sure to keep your eyes protected from the smoke with a small fan. Another tip, massage between your toes. In TCM theory, massaging these areas may correspond to neck and throat comfort, especially if mild throat or thyroid discomfort comes during emotional stress. Remember, these at-home techniques are for general well-being and should not replace professional care. Finally, Here's a quick checklist for everyday health signals, just things to watch for. Morning dizziness may suggest circulation or neck tension issues. Waking up super early with hunger and heart palpitations that ease only after breakfast could hint at a blood sugar concern. Swelling after getting up that lasts more than 20 minutes may indicate your kidneys or heart need extra support. Brown urine or persistent bad breath might suggest your liver or digestion need some care. Discomfort after fatty foods or pain radiating to your right shoulder blade could mean your liver or gallbladder wants some attention. If you often have heart flutters or chest tightness when climbing stairs, it could mean your heart needs a little extra mindfulness. These self-checks are simple ways to tune into your body. Please share them with family and friends so more people can feel empowered about their health. And remember, if you ever feel unwell, see your local healthcare provider. Listen to your body and take good care of yourself because that's what matters most. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like and share. See you next time.